Hey, what's up everybody? We are back today with another main quest video. This one is for the quest called Wandering in the Dark. This is the follow-up quest to Hunting a Witch. So, we're here with Kira, we're at the Elven Ruins, and we're about to head inside. Uh, before you go in, my, I have a couple recommendations. One, you may want to brew up some uh, cat potion. You may want to also brew up uh, some of the uh, wraith potions that are, I think they're called specter, so I think it's specter oil. Um, I'm not sure what other uh, oils you're going to have that are going to be at this point in the game that's going to be useful to you. In here, you're going to run across a couple different types of monsters, um, and I think the uh, specter oil is the only thing you have that's going to be uh, that you're going to have right now that's going to be useful to you. And also, you may want to uh, clear out your inventory a little bit, hit a vendor, uh, just because you're going to pick up a ton of loot in here. So, without further ado, we'll head in. If you're just sitting down to watch the whole quest, uh, grab something to eat because this one's going to be a long one. Glan. And the reason I told you to grab some cat potion is because uh, this place is fairly dark in here. Uh, so the cat potion might become in handy uh, depending on how you do in the dark. That means... I, I thought they didn't exist. Feast your eyes on the non-existent then. Hmm. Got a navigator with them. Uh, what? Can you teleport us to the other side? I'd rather teleport us home. Do you really mean to follow them? Teleport. Hurry up. Not sure I like any of this. Alright, so Kira has now gone missing. She has teleported somewhere in these ruins, and Kira. we are going to go poke around a bit. Let's see, first thing we're going to do is head down to the left here, and you can see there are some drowners down there and there's some poison gas. So my recommendation is, uh, if you've been watching the videos, you know I like the Quen sign. So I'm going to use my Quen sign, and I'm going to fight these drowners on this bridge away from this uh, ridiculous poison. Just let them come up here to me because they will, because they love. Come up on the bridge. So the drowners are dead. We will loot them up. Get all the fun bits out of their corpses. And then we're going to switch to Igni and deal with this poison gas that's down here. And if you have the same fun I do, you will appreciate the fact that all of these braziers that are sitting around are incredible incredibly difficult to light unless you get right into the right spot. So what we're going to do is we're going to head up here. We're going to do a bit of looting. We're not going to go right after uh, Kira right away just for the fact that uh, you always need to check the place out. So here we're going to use our telekinetic blast to blow through this wall. And then we're going to switch back to Quinn. He's inside. I believe we find some friends. Yes, the Fulgit. So they're kind of nasty because you can't see them, so you're just going to have to. Time to end this. I'm 
sure there's a good way to see them. Maybe if you have your cat potion on, you might see them. Um, but uh, honestly, I just kind of swing wildly until I connect with them, or they connect with my uh, my shield, and uh, then I know where they're at. So make sure you still check everything else out around here. Make sure there aren't any other hidden walls. But then head inside here. Keep your winter senses up if you're not using your cat potions, just for the fact that you will... Uh, there's a lot of treasure to be found through here, so. Alright, so here's another wall we're going to break through. And if you're wondering where we are on our map, of course, we don't have an internal map. So that didn't help. Sorry, I thought we'd be able to pull up a map in here. I hadn't tried it before. So, uh, I'm going to head down through here. Make sure we're checking out everything for loot. And then instead of going back this way, we're actually going to jump in the water. Swim down a bit. Play the dive game sure we look behind us to see that there's no loot down there. And then we are going to head to the right here because there's a chest. You can see there's your tracker's trousers. Set item to pick up. Swim over here to make sure there's not one on the other side. And then we're going to head up and out of the water. Mushrooms here. Chest in the back. It has absolutely jack in it. Um, you can play the uh, the uh, kind of save scum game with that chest to get a master version of that. But to be perfectly honest, that armor blows anyway. So whatever you're wearing right now, it's highly, highly, highly. I would stake vital parts of my anatomy on the fact that you're wearing better armor right now than even the master version of that will be. So. Uh, it's really not worth spending the time to do that. Uh, I did screw around with it just a little bit to test it out for you guys and found out that it was totally worthless. So uh, feel free to do it uh, just to prove me wrong, but uh, I wouldn't waste my time if I were you. So now we will head out of here. And so, you know, we came through this passageway here. We went into the water. Now we're going to swing through this passageway here. We're going to go back out into the main chamber. And the next thing you're going to encounter is a water hag. She is on the opposite side over here to our left, kind of where we're, the camera's pointed right now. That's where she's going to be, so we're going to head down there, try to drop off here elegantly without taking too much damage. And then head over here and deal with her. Definitely keep your Witcher senses up through here. They're... Uh, there's definitely some other things to find in here, if I remember correctly. We will burn off this stuff here just so we can check over here, because I think there's... yes. So there's a chest there. Switch back to Quinn, because the water hag is over in this direction. There she is. Get her before she gets us. Go ahead and loot her body up. And then we're going to head over here, look around a bit more. Make sure we didn't miss any good loot. Apologize, I've only been through here once, so I don't have a full and correct memory where all of the loot is where I can just direct you to it. I still have to kind of look around a bit, so uh, a little bit of fail on my part, I know. I apologize, but uh, really trying to get this stuff for you. Alright, so that was that. I'm going to go over here, hop up on this staircase. See if 
there's anything up here worth looking at. No chest. With absolutely jack in it. Skeleton with absolutely nothing. Alright. So then from here, we'll look around a little bit more, jump up on these stairs, and even though it says to go that way, we're going to head around to the left here. And if we kind of get our bearings from where we came from, go through here, check this stuff out. And uh, one of the other reasons you might want to light stuff in here is to keep track of where you've been and where you have and haven't been, rather. Just as a good uh, measurement of uh, what's going on in the area. If you don't see fire, then you know you haven't uh, been there. And if you do see fire, then you know you haven't. Or, sorry, you have. Kill them off. Search around a bit more. One thing in here it looks like is those stupid mushrooms. See if we can find the right place to light that brazier. Of course not. I don't want to dick with it. And we will continue to Yes, Geralt. Okay, so what you want to do before you go in here is equip Igni because there's going to be some rat rats' nests that you need to deal with. That's what she's so uh, freaked out about is the rats. Geralt, to do something! They're crawling out of those holes! Use a sign or, or bomb anything! Stay calm. They're only rats. I hate blah, rats! I thought I was in the right position for that first one, but I wasn't. Alright, so that's one nest, and then the other nest is up here. Clean up the rats. You that afraid of rats? Could have annihilated them with one spell. Fine, won't say anything. So what happened to you? There's something here. Something that distorts teleportation. I've no idea how they managed to get to the other side problem-free. Wild Hunt's teleportation magic is different. Got specially trained mages for that. Navigators, they call them. They can have three helmsmen and a parrot for all I care. I'll not risk that again. Let's go. Wild Hunt got a good head start on us, but we still stand a chance. Have you gone completely mad? We must leave here at once. I gotta know what the Wild Hunt's doing here. But we came to find the Elven Mage, not fight the Hunt. If they reach him first, we won't get a chance to talk to him. Besides... Go on. Finish. Wait. You've got some special interest in the Hunt. Is this about Ciri? There's something you've not told me, isn't there? Come with me and maybe I will. Are you always like this? I'm beginning to feel sorry for Triss and Yen. Oh, very well. Let's go. Gavella Glan. Alright, so we will head up here. Take a look in this door, because I believe this is the door that uh, we... The path not taken. And it's going to take us right back out to where we were, but we're just going to check around for some additional loot. Make sure there's nothing out here. gotten everything there was to get so we'll call it clear and we will head on in with the rest of the quest all right so this is probably a good spot for you to save uh, before you head on now that you've you kind of moved on to the next stage of the quest and uh, there is some nasty stuff in here the further you go, so just FYI. Luna. Luna. Ah. Hey, 
Naivete, la rana lunette. That's him. That's the elf. Arvek Tva, Gledi. What was that? An illusion? No. A morphotic projection. Message was definitely for Ciri, daughter of the Gull, Lara Doran's heir. Indeed. It is what the elves would title Ciri. But what was the bit about the sign of her sword? A riddle? Yeah, not a hard one, though. Not if you know Ciri named her sword Tireo. Swallow. Come now. Who aside from you would know that? Might have been the point. Your elven mage secured the passage, hid it, so that only Ciri could find it. He failed to foresee that someone like you would show up. Nevertheless, I think he was expecting uninvited guests. Made some preparations. Let's hope the Wild Hunt ran into some obstacles. Well then, let's go. Do you think following the Swallows will suffice? We'll see. Alright, so now is a great time to use your Wraith Oil if you have it, because you are definitely going to get into it with some Wraiths. So, if you have it and you want to use it, uh, now is definitely the time. We're going to go into our inventory and see if we have any prepared. I can't remember if I did or not. And, of course, I did not. So, um, either way, it's not... Oh. Depending on what difficulty you're playing on, it's probably not that difficult uh, without it, but it's always nice to have a little bit of extra oomph against uh, the wraiths. There are like five or six An of them down here. An old elven port. Must have been how they got here by sea. I wonder how long ago that was. You can see them pop up over there on the right. And there's also this poison gas down here. So it can get kind of tricky if you get down there and mix it up with them. We're going to see how close we can get them to come to us without us going to them. I made the mistake of getting going to them last time, and I just wind up dancing in the uh, poison gas, so... Careful. That oily yellow vapor, it's toxic. I hardly need instruction from you. I recognized the Vulpine Morel immediately. Actually, we're going to throw some Igni on here and see if we can... Vesemir told me that soon after he'd learned to cast Igni, Blast he off. tried it out on a patch of these mushrooms. Terrible idea. What happened? Well, he survived. And wounds heal awfully quick on young witchers. Come on. All right. So we're gonna put our shield on here. Oh, and there's a few of them, so watch out. stand in the gas so just FYI lots of gas bad rates <laughs> all right narrowly kill her off without dying and now we're gonna meditate just to get our health back So I advise not failing that bad at dealing with the wraiths, but uh, wraiths and gas and blah blah blah, just a giant pain in the ass. Alright, and there's some chests over here, so we're going to loot those up before the gas comes back. And then we're going to step back up here because there's something to inspect. I don't remember whether it was there. It'll give you a weapon, I think. Yes. So go ahead and inspect that statue. And then what you need to do to continue the quest is go right. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to go left. And as we do that, we're going to pick up our Wraith Guts. Head over here. And the message said to follow the swallow. That is definitely not a picture of a swallow, but we are going to head down in here anyways because there's some loot to be had. How and is here the wait behind. Refreshing. What are you missing? Some 
chest here. Another chest over here. We're gonna swim up here. Okay, so, and there are going to be more wraiths here as well, so as soon as you get to the other side through this toxic gas, the wraiths are going to come at you again. So, be prepared for that. And it's right as you get down here to the, um, to this chest. So, touch the chest. Get the wraith. Shit. Shit is right. And the place they want to fight is right up in the middle here, and it's really a pain in the ass. Where all the gas is. We try to move through fight the here in the river. There is definitely more than one. Depending on what difficulty you're setting here on as well, there may be more. But that was it for this go round for me. Come down here and loot this up. The other thing I'll point out to you in here is use your Igni and go back across to the other side. Get down here. And you're going to notice that these uh, stone formations here light up. And that means that you can destroy them with your telekinetic blast however it doesn't really seem to matter because there's nothing that is seemingly down here there's only one other spot in here where there's some of those uh, there are some of those growing out of the ground and I can't remember the stalagmite stalactite I always get that confused but uh, that there's a chest buried in one of them that's what I was getting at so just uh, FYI on that stuff you can destroy it if you have to, but uh, as a, there's only one place that I found where you absolutely had to destroy it in order to get to some loot. And I will definitely show that to you if you to pass it up. Alright, so now we're going to head back to the way we came, and you probably noticed that uh, there was a passage all the way in the back of that main room. That's where we're going to go next. Once we pop out of the water here. Take this path around to the left. Once again, this is not the way to go to find Siri or your elven mage, but it is a different way to go to find some more loot. And those cavalry gauntlets do show in a master form if you want to play the save game. If you want to save scum there, you can do that, and that will uh, get you some blue gauntlets. But otherwise, head back here, grab this chest. Because it has your tracker's gauntlets in them. And then there's a skeleton back here, but there's nothing on it. Which is awesome. And you are going to just head back into the main room now. Make sure you put your Igni sign back on, because you're going to have to kill off some... ...more poison gas in order to get to the uh, place you need to go. want to go is right up here. And as you get up here, you will see the sign of the swallow. A swallow. Seems we're headed the right way. So there's the swallow right there. That's what you're supposed to be uh, looking for to find your path. So that's it for poison gas at the moment. So we're going to switch back to our shield. And keep our Witcher senses peeled for a portal loot, not mushrooms. 
Alright, so then you want to hop up on these rocks, and then hop up one more time. Keep walking ahead. Don't get thrown off by that cave entrance here. Uh, I, I think it's got to be above you in some fashion. There's no way getting through this wall. Uh... At least not at the moment. Uh, nothing that nothing that I found in this quest allows you through that wall. So I think it's got to be something above you. If it was something down here, I think you would have gotten the notification like entrance found. How you've seen in other places or cave found, dungeon found. You know what I'm talking about with about the pop-ups. So wouldn't worry too much about that. All right, so you're gonna head in here, and there are no monsters in here Look, at the moment. It's rather similar to that other pillar with the projection. What you want to do is head over the projection, and then we'll do some looting and uh, continue on the quest. Sirel, ni forda sol eser in. Sirel, ni forda sol eser in. Hey, Sirel. you mean that sea monster? No, that's what Siri named her mare. Horse could apparently gallop like a demon. Hmm, <laughs> good name for a horse. So, should we look for it? Okay, so now you're gonna have to look around for a symbol on a wall that looks like the a Vela horse. Glan. Uh, we're gonna run around here and look for any loot that might be in here. I can't remember off the top of my head if there were any chests floating around in here. But you'll see a couple symbols. One's this dog. And then there is a, like, octopus over here, like she was talking. Oh, Kelpie, isn't that the Loch Ness Monster? No, it's not. Uh, so, if you touch the dog, it'll explode and do damage to you. If you touch this one, it'll actually summon a doppelganger of you and Kira that you have to fight off and kill. And if you search around in here, you will still not find anything. And that's because the horse one is actually down in this pit. You can probably see it in the distance down there, right in front of me. It's very faint. I'm not sure how it's going to come through in the video. What we're going to have to do is hop down here into the water, swim down, and we're going to get a chest that's down here real quick. And then we'll swim back up and go play with the horse sign. Is right here, and that's going to open a door up top. Drawing of a horse. Clue for Siri must be. All right, so now swim down, and you're going to take this passageway, and that's going to kind of lead you back to Kira. Get out of the water, and we're gonna head up here. She's gonna say, Geralt! Geralt! Kelpie. Alright, so there is your next sign to examine. Another horse. Almost exactly like the last one. Let's see what this does. Geralt! I don't know what you did, but it worked. Come back here. Alright. So, we are going to head over here and ever so carefully drop down along the side here so we can avoid taking too much damage and then it Look, opens this door opening. over here once okay. again great spot for a save use your witcher senses as you pass through here make sure there's no loot grab your mushrooms if you want well now I know what distorted my effort at teleportation. This very portal. We must try to activate it. All right, so you need to examine the sign here. And... I think that's a... Swallow. It worked! Come! Sure it's safe? Of course. The Elven Mage prepared this passage for Siri. Come on now. All right, so uh, what I was going to say is... Uh, don't get too uh, frustrated with activating those swallows. There's a couple more you're going to have to activate to open portals. And sometimes you just have to be in the right spot in order to get it to activate. Um, 
So if you walk right up on it, you can't. That doesn't mean it won't activate. It just means the game's being buggy and you're not in the right spot. Gavella Glan. It's grown awfully quiet. Is that bad? A bit like the calm before a storm. Okay, another place for a save because you're about to go into battle with a big nasty golem. He is not the cuddly bear type golem. He is the smash your face gum type golem. I have a bad feeling about this. TRAL not recognized. Intruders. Destroy the intruders. Just wonderful. Search that around be in that. here because there is I knew there, are, there is loot in That's here. That's so. Make sure and tell me beforehand next time. There's a chest here, and then I think there's My a chest on the other wall. My intuition's a fine instrument, Witcher. Don't underestimate it. I've some very good feelings about you, for instance, in several domains. All right, so Gollum dead. And then what you want to do is hop up on here. Now we're gonna meditate one more time, get our health back. Great place for another save. And we are going to continue on. Once you finally find Siri, what will you do? Any plans? Depends what she wants. Imagined it, how it will transpire. What will she say? What will she look like? No. I'm sorry, for getting ahead of myself. All right, this is I the place forget, that I was telling you about. We hardly know each other. Shut up, Certainly Kira. not enough to discuss personal matters. Not to worry. Jesus. We'll get there. So, this is the place I was telling you about. Uh, you can see on the ground here, right in front of us, there's that little gold thing glowing. That's actually something you can loot. But what you need to do is switch over to your telekinetic blast. And get out of the way of genius over here who's keeping you from casting it and that and it'll break this free and then you can go ahead and pick up your item so that's the only place in here that I know that happens but uh, I did want to point it out because extra loot is always a good thing in my opinion so now that we're in here we're gonna look around a bit because if I remember correctly there's something else yeah so we're gonna take the path not suggested by the quest head up in here. Some more crafting stuff. Uh oh. What? Got that feeling again? Gargoyle. So, FYI. Damn it. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Look, they're opening. Let's go. All right, so gargoyle. Dead and gone. Look around in here. I can't remember if there was a chest in here or not. I think there is. There we go. I think that was it for the loot in this room. Alright, so now we will head back out and take the path suggested by the quest marker. But before we do that, we will meditate one more time. All right, and then we will forge ahead. Teleport over there. We must activate it quickly. I have a feeling another golem's about to surprise us. Another golem is not about to surprise you. 
but do use your Witcher senses to look around and. Another swallow. Look, it was. I'm on. Examine that. That's the one that I had a problem activating before. God knows why. Look, we've managed to cross the bridge. This is where we saw the wild hunt. Great. Means they're way ahead of us. Come on. Gavella Glan. All right, so we're gonna wild head up hunt. here. Definitely. They destroyed the mage's sentries. They didn't come here for a friendly chat with the elf. Meaning you ever thought they might have? Grab some loot there, and then if you want to hop up here, some more loot up here. Right here, there's a chest. Jack in it, but still lose loot. There was nothing over here I did check. So then you want to head up here, hop up on these stairs. Froze them before they could attack. None of these things are going to attack you, so don't worry too much about it. But you are about to get yourself into something else, so. Shut up! White Frost. Mage from the hunt summoned it. Can you seal those cracks it's blowing through? They're too far. We must get closer. I shall shield us with Demetia Crest Surge. Stand at my side. Daria and Anoy! Ready. Stay close. Alright, so she's putting this shield up that she's going to cast some uh, magic at these portals. And while she's casting, you need to defend her from the devil dogs that pop out and try to come at her. What I suggest you do not do is step outside the shield if you don't absolutely hey, have to. They will come to you. We must close them. Might take a little longer. Want me to go? To I'll do it. Just cover me. If you have any food, this is a good time to uh, water or something. I'm it's a good time we to, might make it. to get some regen going. Or a potion, whatever you, whatever you have food-wise is helpful. And it's pretty much the same deal two more times. One more, then you're done. Then you can come back and loot. There is, uh, there are like three chests in this room, and there's all those corpses. So don't worry about doing it during the uh, protection phase here. You can do it afterwards, and it's not going to screw anything up. Hey, Nicola.
stamina. It worked. Dari and Anoi. Kira. What's wrong? It'll pass. That took a great deal of power. Just don't faint on me. <laughs> now, in your firm embrace, not a new life. <laughs> mm. Love to be able to say we could stay here a while and rest. I know. I know. We must go on. All right, so use this time to move uh, around. They blocked the passage. Maybe I can try. Leave it to me. And find your loot. So first chest over here on the left. Next chest is right here. And then I believe the last, the third and final chest is on the other side of the room, but we'll check Come. over here just might in still case. Catch them. Last chest in this area, and then what you want to do is don't forget to go back and collect the loot from all of the fantastic corpses that you have left in your wake. And although they do try to instill a sense of urgency, there really is none, so take the time, make sure you look around, pick up all your loot, and once you have that, head up towards this platform. here and head into the next section. Once again, this is probably a great time to save your game. Thanks for your help. Pretty tough slog. Ah, good thing I came with you. You'd never have managed without me, would you? Come now, admit it. Yeah. All right, before never. you walk down there after her, come over to this wall. Use your telekinetic blast, then use your igni. Blow that stuff up, and know that you're going to find another Fulgist or whatever in here as well that you're going to have to deal with, if I remember correctly. I think you have to jump up here, and that's where you wind up running into him. Yep, yep. Damn it. Kill him off and then go ahead and loot your chest. Find your assassin's gauntlets. And I believe that is it for up in here. Just one little room you don't want to miss because uh, once you kind of, you're going to get into a position where you wind up dropping down into another area and you can't get back to this room. So it's a good thing to just pick that stuff up while you're up here. Clear out the poison gas. Now whatever your main uh, protection spell is that you like to use, make sure that's equipped because now you're going to get into a really nasty battle down here. Once again, this is a great place to save your game and since this is such a nasty battle, we are actually going to save it here as well, even though I hope we don't have to do something stupid like reload in the middle of a video. He awaits us. Alright, so this is the drop down that I was talking about right here. So once you kind of drop down there, I tried jumping back up after the fact and it just really didn't work out. So uh, you definitely want to hit that room before you drop down. But once you do, you're going to run into this guy. Big two-handed axe-wielding guy. He's nasty. And there's like three phases to this battle. So when you attack him, he's going to drop some health. And then he's going to go into this bubble. Don't attack the bubble. He's going to heal back up. But there's like three phases where he goes to the bubbles. And he calls out these uh, dogs from a portal. Kill off the dogs. You're stubborn, Dwan. While he's in the portal. And it'll drop Geralt, the portal. I, I shall help you. Step back. 
Stop telling me what to do. Blimey. I wonder how long you last. All right, don't Shut attack the portal up. like I did, because it will Geralt, look. wreck your health. Passage. Stay calm, focus. But what you want to do is kill off these dogs. Geralt! I'm Geralt. The last time you have to deal with him. Damn it. The Bella right. Glan. Are you well and whole? I feared. Unnecessarily. Let's look around. If I have my knickers on straight, this looks like the elves' laboratory. Okay, so what we want to do is run around and do some looting. And we are towards the end of the quest. But there's a few things to point out here, so uh, definitely uh, keep watching. So there is this breakable wall back here. Go ahead and break it with your telekinetic blast. But otherwise ignore it for right now. We're going to come back to it. Um, you don't have to, but what we're going to do is we're going to meditate anyways. Okay. And then we're going to do a little bit of more looting. And if we look around down here, there's really nothing too much of interest. Except for right here. Nothing spectacular or not any of that stuff. Gonna have to hop up on this area. Lorena Luna. All right, let's watch this message. Cyril, this place is no longer safe. Do not tarry here long. Trust no one, and above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. Where last we were together? Not much to go on. Damn it. Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here. Surely they saw the projection. They searched everything. And if they had more time, they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the elf, not about Siri. Well, we know they were well acquainted and traveling together. The witches of Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bog. Brokeback Mountain. Kira, if you're hiding something. But I didn't say. You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times, to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders, but they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Bellum. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet... Throughout my first fortnight in Velen, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously. Render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. How do I find them? The swamps are vast. Dangerous. But they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog. And from that chapel, one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of course. 
They didn't read you bedtime stories at Care Morhen. All normal folk know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. I... I truly do believe you'll find your Cirilla. All right then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. Good idea. Okay, look around for looting opportunities, Why do we but even come? ignore the red stuff. For right now. Look over here on the floor somewhere. Bookcase. Here's the book. Grab that. And one more chest. All right, now expect inspect this wall. Strange. My medallion's trembling, but there's nothing here. What's with this wall? It's an illusion. I sensed it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I brought this. Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. It's bound to come in handy. And each time it does, you will think of me. Hmm. Huh. Thanks. Alright, so go ahead and drop the illusion on this wall. But don't go in just yet. Simple, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Remember that wall we broke with our uh, telekinetic blast? Well, there was an illusion behind that wall, and there is an awesome sword up in there. So we are going to head back in this direction. Dispel that illusion and grab our sword, and be warned when you interact with the chest that the sword is in. Now in his eye, ought to use it. A foglet is going to pop jump out at you. So we're going to play the dive game again. Do a bit of looting here. two chests. Now we're going to swim over here and go to the right, and to the right is where the chest is that I was talking about, that uh, where the fog that attacks you. Head up in here, hop out, and then just in here. Interesting. As soon as you touch it, there he is. Just wonderful. Kill him off, and then go ahead and loot your chest, and inside you will find this sword that I was talking about. I'll show you what that is, just because it is very cool. So here's your sword. It's got three slots to uh, dump stuff in, so that's uh, pretty awesome. Go ahead and loot up the guts of that thing, and then head back, and you're pretty much done at this point. You just want to head back to... Kira and walk out and as you walk out with her she you're gonna have an option to remember back in the uh, hunt for the witch quest she mentioned to you the reason she wanted to come with was because the elf mage promised her something that he never delivered on well it's some, some sort of magic lamp yeah I don't know Aladdin uh, maybe Shaq's gonna pop out of a lamp or something I don't know but uh, she wants you to help find the magic lamp, and so you have an option to either go to the bog or help her find the lamp and go to the bog later, and uh, that's pretty much how it ends up. So we'll walk out of here, you'll see that, and then we'll wrap up the video. Do you feel that? A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? 
Yeah, I'll help. Splendid. Come then. Gavella Glan. We're certain to find something here. All right, so wandering in the dark is complete. I hope that quest uh, walkthrough helped you. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care.